All right, uh, good to get a win. Uh, hostile environment here. Coach Campbell's done a good job uh, building this thing the right way. Credit to the to the Lions. That was a heck of a game. Um, appreciate all the Bills fans showing up two weeks in a row. Not even really two weeks, but uh, five days uh, apart. And uh, those guys showing up did a great job. We needed them. We could hear them. We could feel them. Um, obviously, the uh, you know down the stretch, close game. Great to see Josh and. And Stefan connect there, and then T Bass come in the game and and uh, get us the win. And then also, you know, the squib and the and the uh, kickoff coverage team. You know, you got to finish that the right way, and they did a heck of a job with that. So had a lot of guys go down. I don't have uh, injury updates for you, um, but I was proud of the way the guys battled. Guys were prepared and uh, stepped in and did a good job for us right there. So uh, we can learn a lot from this game in a lot of ways and still have a lot of work uh, in terms of getting some things cleaned up. So with that, I'll turn it over to you. Sean, you always talk about one left, but are there times you need your guys, Diggs, Allen, to just make yeah. those plays before? Yeah, that's what, that's what great players do. They step up in those big moments, and they make big plays in big moments of games like this. I only connected with uh, Nate at halftime, so I don't have anything um, to give you on that. Given so. all the stuff that happened in this game, Sean, it's clearly, you know, the three quarters was, it was a struggle for sure for three and a half quarters until your offense got going, plus the injuries you dealt with. Yeah. The atmosphere, as you talked about, the adversity. Does this one just feel like you earned it a little more than any other win? <laughs> I mean, they're all, they all, you know, when you win, it goes in the win column is one. When you lose, it goes in the, lo in the loss column is one. So no matter how you win, you got to find a way to win. And I think our guys are sure that they know how to do that. Um, incredibly resilient, you know, down to the last play, basically. And, um, you know, again, not, to, not a pity party, but what the guys have been through and being on two plane rides and five days and, um, you know, just th dealing with things at home and then trying to focus on their job, I think, was was impressive, um, and then we take 24 hours and we got to turn the page against a good New England, New England Patriots football team on the road. Sean, was this a plan with Trey? Was it to get him yeah. out there on the field? So there was no setback or anything? No. First, and then it was just pitch count Correct. and then take it forward? Exactly. So yeah. What did you see in those first two? <laughs> I understand it's a really small sample. So yeah, um, it was good to get him two. I think he got two series uh, in about 15 to 20 plays maybe. I don't have a total count on what it – what it ended up being, uh, but that was in the range of what we thought, and, and now it's built on it. So. No, no, I didn't. No, we're just going through the game, so I'll, we'll get it after the game here. And. You reflect on the unique nature of playing two games here in the five days, and having your black room set up from the previous game a little bit. I mean, yeah. Just kind of feel more familiar and unique. Yeah, I think, you know, the longer you're in this league, the more you see. And then you think you've seen it all, and then the more you see again. Um, so, you know, our, our training staff, our operations staff, um, our equipment staff did a phenomenal job, video as well. Um, the hotel we stayed at did a great job. We're very hospitable and, and welcoming when we were, you know, kind of out of, out of sorts a little bit there last week in particular, last, this past Sunday. So um, it was just a great all-around um, team effort and, and good to get the win. Sean, what do you think of about the play of your defensive tackles? Ed Oliver had a huge game. Juan Jones came up big. So with all the injuries you've had at defensive end, how good was it to see those defensive tackles step up for you? Yeah, they needed to. Um, they needed to, and I thought uh, that was uh, that 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 series with the safety. I think Ed, I believe it was Ed, made the first tackle behind the line of scrimmage, and then. Ed again pushed number 70 back their right guard and into the quarterback's lap, and we ended up getting the safety. I think on that third down there, that was Ed over the top of number 70 there, so it was good to see. Would you, would you maybe finish the game great? No doubt Josh was talking about it. You can see that the offense has had time to finish firing the last month or so. I know, you're, I know you've won and you scored some points, but it seems like it's been a little bit more difficult. In some cases, a lot more difficult. Yeah. The offense to do its thing. You, would you concede that? Or uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I thought we did some good things. It's, this is the NFL. It's going to be, it's going to be every, every inch, every yard is tough. It's defended, and and uh, people don't. I think people, maybe you in this case, Sal, um, want us to score 40, and you know that'd be great, right? And but the way the nature of this league is, and you've been around it, 
Um, I mean, these are these are close games every every week, and give credit to, to their defense and the effort. I mean, Coach Campbell, like I said, they were playing hard. We expected that. I mean, the the, the way that he coaches and his personality, and um, so they they were playing hard. Yeah, I thought A.J. Klein stepped in and did a, did a good job. Um, the tackle he had in the flat on the last drive was very impressive on a back in space for a middle linebacker. Um, and to come in in a week and a half, basically, not even a week and a half probably, and, and that come in and execute and lead the defense, that, I thought that was impressive. And, and there were some things, you know, we didn't execute well at times, probably offensively that Sal's referring to defensively. Um, you know, at times we were making it too hard on ourselves. Um, just fundamentally throw and catch, uh, block and tackle. We missed a number of tackles. It's uncharacteristic of us, and especially the way we started the season, we thought we were pretty good tackling defense. So uh, then they had a punt get out on us. So you know we've, we've got to continue to grow. They're going to make plays, but just real proud of the way that the guys battled through it and came out with a win. And we have to learn and continue to evolve as a football team. And how does it become a negative thing? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> a when you're not always, when you don't practice, right? I mean, I go around to youth youth sports and I watch the lack of fundamentals. So, like, it's not it's not scheme. It's fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. Practice, practice, practice. And um, so you got to have the scheme, and you better have the scheme. Um, but I think what you saw today was at times when we struggled was lack of fundamentals. And we've got to get on that. We've got to stay on the details with that because that's real. And, and that usually is what determines games. Why are you getting so many tackles behind the line of scrimmage? Not just sacks, but you're getting a lot of tackles for loss in the run game in the last three weeks. Yeah, I mean, it just comes back to the, the effort of the defensive line and, and uh, being in their gaps, doing things the right way. And I think that's really where it, where it starts. Coach, where, where is the run game inside the red zone? It seems like you have to do a great job of getting down there with the run. But we all know what happens, you know, you turn the ball over here, so I know that's something that disgusted you. But, you know, the physicality in the run game in the red zone, you know, it's kind of like, how do you fix it? Yeah, I think, well, listen, in the red zone, Mookie, everything, you know, you coach, everything tightens up. Uh, it gets tighter and, and it gets more physical, and then there's less space. Um, so the safeties are closer to the line of scrimmage, even if you're playing split safety. And then, um, you know, everything happens faster also in, in the pass game. And, uh, we we're trying to get that that ball on the slant in there, and they got their hands up and did a good job and made a play. So, um, you know, we've got to go back and look at that. Yeah. Yeah. No. A, a ton of trust in him and. And Reed and, and Sam, they do a great job. They work hard at it. Um, you're going to have some of those, but um, to be able to to be able to reset, let a player reset after making a mistake, and uh, come out and and uh, again, that's how you earn trust when when you do that, right? When you can give a player that second, you know, that second chance right there. And I didn't I didn't have to mess with him. I knew he's so mentally tough, and uh, he showed it again today. Okay. All right, thanks, Stephon guys. Will be out here shortly.